A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord and my right is disregarded by God? Do you not know or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the weak he makes vigor abound. Though the young men faint and grow weary, and you stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response today, O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the, lo ble bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and give, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all of your iniquities. He heals all of your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. Bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not knowing, not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. Bless the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. In our Gospel today, Jesus uses an image that would have been very familiar to farmers, especially farmers with livestock, during his time with animals, because he speaks about his yoke. His yoke is easy, and his burden is light. And farming a yoke is a sort of neck saddle that goes around the animal who is going to carry a plow or a carriage, whatever it is, that has to be fitted for the animal so that it can pull or drag whatever is going to be behind it. For the most part, farmers in those days would have one yoke or two yokes that any of the animals would use, whether it fit them well or not. And so when Jesus says, my yoke is easy, what he's really saying is, I have created a yoke that fits for you. It would be irritating or it would hurt the animal if it didn't fit, and yet if the farmer only had one, there wasn't much he could do. But if one was easy, if one was made specifically for that animal, then it, would be, it wouldn't irritate it, it wouldn't be hard for it to fit around its neck and to pull. So what Jesus is saying is that if you follow me, if you give yourself to me, the life that you will have, the task that I will give you, will fit just for you. It will be made for you by the one who knows you better than you know yourself, by your own creator. And so in that sense, if it fits for you, if it's right for you, 
then it will be, as he says, a light burden. It's not to say that life will always be easy, but it is to say that we will have everything necessary to live the life that God wants us to live. And in doing that, we will find our peace and find our joy. And so on this day, let us pray in a special way that we take up the yoke, that we take up the task, whatever it is, that Jesus has given us. Because it is the one that fits for us. It is the only one that fits for us. So that we can experience, as he says, the meekness and humility of heart and find in him a repose and find in him a break from all of our burdens.